Hello awesome people of YouTube and welcome back to game number 5 between Nurtio and MMA. This is going to be the final of this best of 5 series. Now if you missed the first 4 games please, please click the annotations on the top of this video wherever you left off last. It's going to show all 4 links to the previous videos and of course you're welcome to watch them. Leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already of course and uh... That's, that's pretty much it. So this is the final. We're going to see how this goes on. And again, this is game number four from the home story. Sorry, day number four from home story cup number 12. And um, we're quickly coming to a, a finish to this tournament. I really hope there's going to be another tournament in the near future, which I believe there actually is. And of course, I'll be reaching out to some players as well to try to get maybe some replay packs. That would be super awesome if one of them would actually give me some. And um, just something that basically not everyone has. Now, there is very, very few StarCraft 2 casters out at the moment. So, of course, I understand if, you know, if you find somebody else, that's pretty cool. But... Um, the choice is quite limited. If you do like to watch a lot of StarCraft, then you might want to subscribe to more than one person. Now, one guy that I am pretty aware of is pretty much my direct competition right now, and I really don't want it to be that way. It's Falcon Paladin. I'm sure a lot of you have actually heard of him before. Um, I'd really totally love to do maybe a dual cast with him at some stage. If he, of course, doesn't see me as a, w a bug on his windscreen right now, because his channel is quite a lot bigger than mine. So... <laughs> Just to note that, if you are ever watching one of my videos and you come across this one, Falcon Paladin, I would totally love to do a cast with you. That would be pretty cool. And we do have three barracks at the very beginning. Something very uncharacteristic from MMA, but on the other hand, because this map is very, very popular for Reaper Harass, that's pretty much why he's doing that. He's going to probably pump out triple Reapers out of it and just try to put on as much aggression and damage as possible at the very beginning. So as you can see, there's a full-on block here. As usual, you don't want to get any Zergling runs in. And there we go, the hatchery is being complete. Now, very common on this map also is to see Zergling or Zerg to expand to this base. It's very difficult to defend, but at the same time, the rewards that it gives, obviously the gold mineral patches, is very, very worth it if you do manage to defend. So the second refinery is now being completed. This is going to ensure that MMA is going to be able to pump out Reapers consistently and is of course exactly what he wants to do. Three base, uh, three racks at the moment. I don't know if he wants to pump out or bring out a reactor on one of them now that he has a second gas. I believe one, one gas actually supports two Reapers at a time, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how this is progressing. Doesn't... It's not producing another Reaper at the moment. I wonder if he's going to start going for a command center next. He has a total of, let's have a look, five of them at the moment. Not a huge amount, to be honest. Does have a few more on the way. And at the moment, that seems to be pretty much all that he's making. He has a Roach Warren on the way. He also has a Lair on the way. So very interesting response to Reaper Harass. He's probably predicting that since he doesn't have that many Reapers at 3 minutes, he's probably not... Ooh, hitting his own units there. Probably not expecting to see much more of this. Although at the same time, it's exactly what's happening. Three more Reapers being produced right now, while off the back of that building a command center. So MMA doing some of that Reaper shenanigans. We're going to see how well this is going to play off for him. That does bring him on to the lower ground here. Is he going to do anything else with them? He does have a few Zerglings streaming down, but they're not going to be able to get in, of course. Looks like two reactors being built, and oh my god, a tech lab also. I wonder, is this going to be used for, for Marines, or is he going to put out double Reapers out of it? He is recognizing that he's starting to do a little bit of damage here. Just to bring up the lost units to have ten Zerglings, two, um, two drones. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth it at the moment, because he is starting to lose these now to all of the all of the roaches that are up on the field. So at this point, I don't think it's worth it. Oh my god, another Nidus Canal coming out. So Nurtio, are you going to Nidus Canal into the base? That would be very effective right now. I mean, at the moment, he has a much bigger force than MMA. So is MMA going to be able to defend against this Nidus Canal? Or is he not? There is also a command center. This is going to be setting back MMA quite heavily on the amount of units that he'll be able to produce. So are there more? There's Zerglings being, being created right now. And there's Queens also. They're already prepared to go in there. They do have uh, about a total of five transfuses ready. 
And there we go. Is this going to be spotted? No, it's not. It's not visible at all for him. So once this pops out, it's going to be quite significant here. The Reapers, of course, are in the base also, so they could punish this quite heavily. Does start to take a few of these out, and he straight away rushes back to the base. Obviously, the sound is heard by both players. So this is now inside the base. He does cancel the building here. Didn't actually see what that was. But these units are now inside the base. Gonna cancel off the stim here, it seems. And there's a lot of Marines here. They're gonna probably not be able to defend against this. But all of the SCVs... Oh my god, look at the amount of SCVs here. This is insane. There's so many of them, but at the same time, there's not that many Zerg units either. I wonder, is this gonna be enough units to actually destroy him? He is getting cleaned up quite fast. A lot of Marines doing lots of damage. Nidus Worm has now been cleaned up. 20 SCVs in total lost, and all of the Marines are now going to have to back off. There is enough units for the Zerg player to continue this aggression. And now finally getting cleaned up. 20 SCVs in total have been lost here. I wonder how this is going to end right now. Doesn't look like either of the players came on top, really. I mean, the fact that MMA was able to defend this is quite amazing as it is. But how, did he come out on top in terms of resources and supply he didn't come out on top in supply but at the same time oh look at that does have a, a few roaches in here i i really i don't agree with multiple nidus canals if it doesn't work once as effectively as you want it to work you don't want to keep making them more and more and more and as you can see here there you go three more roaches come out and they get destroyed straight away and gg is called so that was game number five mma was able to hold off here i think that if nurcio decided to to macro up instead of sending off the second Nidus Canal, I think he would have been in a much better position. But unfortunately, this is how it played out. Game number five taken by MMA. And that is that for this series. And there we go, an unexpected result. I honestly thought that, that Nurture was going to win this one simply because the Reaper harassment failed quite miserably. He didn't really do much drone damage considering he went, you know, triple barracks into Reapers. So that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Please leave it a thumbs up and leave it a comment if you wish. And of course, if you aren't subscribed already and you've watched all of my videos so far, you probably want to subscribe at this point. I'll see you guys in the next series, which I'm not sure again which it'll be. I don't pre-watch any of these. And I'll see you guys next time. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.